that you have that a you parent, have parent who is elderly, elderly. elderly. or you have or two you have parents two who are elderly, elderly. And, because and because you did not you serve them, them you will not enter into Jannah. You could have used them as a wasila for your Jannah, but you didn't. Disrespecting one's parents is a major sin, my brothers and sisters. It is from the kabair to disrespect them. To disobey them is from the kabair. To ill-treat them is from the kabair. It is from the major sins. Like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, May Allah uh, keep him distant, or may Allah rub his nose in the dirt. And he repeated it three times. They said, Who ya Rasulullah? They said the one, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who has a parent and he has reached old age or he has two parents and yet he does not enter into Jannah himself. This is the hadith of Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that you have a parent who is elderly or you have two parents who are elderly and because you did not serve them you will not enter into Jannah. You could have used them as a wasila. For your Jannah. But you didn't. How many of us they are sitting here. And our parents are thousands of miles away. And we have the ability to catch a flight. And go and see them and spend a week with them. And make them happy. We have the ability to fill our pockets with some wealth. And to catch a flight and visit them. And put that wealth in their hands. And serve them for a week, two weeks, three weeks. But we don't do it. We leave them to suffer. And to walk around the house and they have and they're crying over their grandchildren. Yes, it is a major sin. And you need to look at how you treat your parents because like the Prophet Sallallahu said, take to the feet of your mother, for indeed you will find Jannah there. Your mother's not even close to you. She's living in another country because you don't bother with her. It's only the other day that I hearing now that there are Muslims in this country now who want to set up Old people's homes for Muslims. When, because there's no such thing. You know, it's never been known in the history of Islam. An old people's home for Muslims? Why do we need old people's homes? We live in communities and we live in families and we live in a culture that doesn't take the parents and go and put them and pay someone else to look after them. We look after them. And we share the responsibility, the sons, the daughters, the grandchildren, the family, the brothers, the sisters. They share the responsibility and they see it as a, as, as a pleasure to look after their parents. No, my brothers and sisters, do not follow the habits of the kuffar. Don't follow their evil traits by disrespecting and keeping away from your parents. Serve them.